Hey guys, Introspection here. So today I intend on adding to the video game translation series. Now I will say that the issue I intend on talking about today, I just personally haven't encountered. And I think it's starting to wane as time goes on for non-gamers to think this of gamers. But I do see enough on the internet where I do think a lot of gamers do have a tendency to encounter this first person. In which case I want to make this video so that hopefully I can change that kind of ideology. Now, of course, if you don't have the, that ideology, great. But if you do, hopefully I will be able to change it. The ideology is that video games are for kids and not only should they not be played by adults, but they're terrible when adults play them. And I wanted to address the individual points as to why I commonly hear this kind of argument. So the first argument I hear is that you shouldn't be doing it as an adult because it doesn't make money or doesn't have the potential to make money. And believe you me, I do enjoy money as much as the next guy. Money is good. You should always be working to be able to provide for yourself and quite possibly an entire family. But that being said, I would find it rather miserable to live a life where nothing I do, I do for the sheer enjoyment of it. Every single thing I do would be something along the lines of just trying to make money. Nothing. I do is because it makes me feel happy, maybe because it's good for myself or somebody else. No, because it doesn't make money. I shouldn't be able to do it. And I just don't think that's a very good ideology to live by. Again, you should always be working to hone your skills, make sure you keep your skills up to date so that you can always find a career and make sure that you're able to provide for yourself and your family and perhaps even earn even more money. But we should also be able to enjoy life. And for a lot of us, that tends to be doing things that we might not necessarily get. But for us to enjoy life, we kind of have to do those things. Now, the other reason, and admittedly it's pretty close to the first reason, is that you shouldn't be doing anything that isn't productive. And to that they say, I would argue that playing video games can be very productive. Now, I, I know that if you have the ideology that you shouldn't be playing video games because it's not productive, this sounds extremely ridiculous to you. And believe you me, if I did not know what I do know about video games, it would sound ridiculous to me as well. So I understand as to why this sounds co completely preposterous, but just hear me out on this, okay? So generally speaking, people don't really work at their best when their brains or stressed or overworked. That's just, I, I will of course have the links below supporting this, but that's just general knowledge. Our brains just don't work as efficiently when they're overworked or stressed. Our brains are amazing things. They can do a lot that we really don't understand. And they're an amazing, they have amazing capabilities. But that being said, it's still human. And as such, for it to remain at top performance, it definitely needs to be exercised and worked as much as possible, but it also needs regular breaks. It gets to a point where if you start working past a breaking point or a stress point, and that stress point can be very different for a ton of different people, but whatever that point is, if you work past that point, you start to lose efficiency. So what you would have been able to do in an hour, you might have to take three hours because you're not working anywhere near as efficient, or perhaps you're not learning anywhere near as efficient. Whatever the case may be, you're just not going to be able to do things as well as you could if your brain was at peak performance, which it, chances are it's not going to be when it's overworked or stressed after a long period of time. And for a lot of us, going through the process of de-stressing involves playing video games, whether it's just racing through a fictional track or perhaps just blowing stuff up because we like to blow stuff up. It tends to de-stress us, and because of this, it can help keep our brain at peak performance. And that's not the only way video games can help. And that being said, those kind of reasons do apply to just about um, almost every ho other hobby, whether it's collecting, whether it's watching certain types of TV shows, anime, whatever it, could, it can be, this kind of thing applies to that, keeping your brain peak performance. Now, of course, no, don't like disregard what you need to do to indulge in these kind of things. You need to do what is required of you but that being said, for you to be able to do what is required to you at your best, it can prove helpful to take breaks with these kind of things. But involving video games specifically, depending on which video game, it can actually increase your brain's capability to do certain things. For instance, an FPS game might 
severely increased reaction time. A a fighting game might increase memorization because believe you me, there are a lot of moves that you need to memorize depending on what kind of fighting game you're playing. Or perhaps it might increase your, your ability to notice things. Perhaps it will increase your problem solving skills. Perhaps you're playing a puzzle game and I'm sure that you can understand as to how a puzzle game can be extremely beneficial. It can help in problem solving skills like I've already mentioned. And of course, these are just very general ones. For a lot of people, cer certain aspects can be extremely beneficial depending on what game you're playing. In fact, there are other games that have ex that have a lot of tie-ins with real things. So perhaps you are playing a racing game. Depending on which racing game, there are certain racing games I can't think of any off the top of my head. But I believe there are a couple racing games that refer a lot to actual mechanics or how things actually work in the real world. For instance, certain realistic racing games have a tendency to deal with grip, aerodynamics, mechanics, how frequently you need to refuel, things like that that are more or less tied into real world. Now, of course, you are not going to learn everything you need to know from these video games. That would be absolutely preposterous unless somebody specifically designed a racing game for you to learn these specific attributes. But that being said, it has a tendency to bring certain facts from the real world that can, from time to time, become useful. Now, the third reason that I hear people say that video games should only be played by children is because video games, just as a matter of fact, are for children. Now, when you say that, let me ask you this. What makes them for children? Like, seriously, what, what about them makes it so that it's specifically for children and adults shouldn't be playing them? Is it perhaps the content that holds? You say that they were made for children, so only children should play it. And, you know, that is logical, but realize that if we're going to follow the idea of because it was made, or a version of it was made for children, only children should play it, then that would apply to other things as well. There are movies made for children, there are TV shows made for children, there are books made for children. They might not be reading them as they should, but there are books made for children. And of course, your logical response might be, well, yes, of course but there are plenty of books and TV shows and movies that were made for adults as well. It is not just restricted to children as video games are. And I have to explain to you that video games is a medium, just like any of these other things. There's nothing physically binding anybody to restricting themselves just to making children content. There's, there's no code restriction, there's no computer restriction that prevents them from making any adult content, just like any of these other things, movies, TV shows, books, you name it. There's nothing physically restricting anybody from making things for an older audience. It's just not there. And because of this, many, many, many of developers have developed plenty of games for the adult audience. They were made for people of an older demographic. There are plenty of games with score and other adult content as you would find in books and TV shows and all the other things I've already mentioned about three times. And if you don't believe me, I would say go ahead and walk into a video game store and say, hey, can you give me a video game for an adult? They will give you a huge variety and for different reasons as well. Perhaps the difficulty level of it could be extremely extremely high and far past what an average child could do, not because they're unintellectual, but just because it involves a lot of thinking that generally are only met or capable by adults, or perhaps it's because the amount of gore that's in them, or whatever the case may be, there are many, 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 many games made specifically for an older demographic. Now, of course, this also, again, applies to just about any other hobby whether it be animated movies, animated TV shows, collecting of some sort. Of course, there are versions of it made specifically for an older demographic. And that being said, there are plenty of us, myself included, who enjoy video games meant for a younger demographic. You might think you're crazy, understandably so. But that being said, I would argue that first of all, the video games don't necessarily stop being fun after in a certain age. Granted, for some people, it might, and by all means, it's okay if you stop playing them. But that doesn't mean it stops being fun. Perhaps racing with the, uh, with the more stereotypical younger video games doesn't need to stop being fun just because they might be of an easier level, or perhaps 
of more childish content doesn't necessarily mean that we still don't enjoy racing through the game, especially if it has particular aspects that can be appreciated of it. And I, another thing that I touched in one of my previous video, videos, Cheesy Wisdom, is that a lot of the times we see them as childish things even though they have values that we expect kids to carry into adulthood. It's kind of funny how a lot of times we will expect kids to carry these things into adulthood but we'll disregard them because we have claimed the title of adult. Things like being able to work together or perhaps being considerate of each other. And I hope those are things that we keep in mind even through adulthood but we seem to disregard childish things that pertain important messages like that. Or perhaps you're playing or watching TV, and this applies to, again, everything. It, you could be watching a TV show that perhaps is meant ex for an extremely younger audience, but perhaps it's one, when, one of those stereotypical ones that include a bit of Spanish. Perhaps that's just a good way to introduce somebody to Spanish. In which case, you could be playing a lot of these things, perhaps aspects of it, or learning aspects of uh, aspects of the video game were designed specifically to develop certain skills, perhaps hand-eye coordination. For somebody who doesn't have great hand-eye coordination, it might be, make sense to play that game, even though it was originally meant for a younger demographic. Now, I want to make something very clear. I am not justifying anybody who is disregarding their responsibilities and spending all of their days video gaming and nothing else. And if you are one of those people who are listening, who are one who do disregard their their responsibilities and their duties just to play video games. I want to say this. Please take a shower, pick yourself up and do something productive cuz you're making the rest of us look bad. You you have a lot of potential. I'm sure that given the amount of video games you've played, you probably have developed certain parts of your brain that are pro that are likely far better than the average person, probably in reaction time, depending on what video game you played, please be productive in something and, and make sure you maintain personal hygiene because you're making everybody else who does do those kind of things and plays video games look very bad. And frankly, forget, forget all that. It's just a waste of your own time. You're put here to be more than, than what you originally were. And you can be more than what you originally were. But you're not going to be more than what you were if you continue on this path. Bring out your full potential. I don't know you. I don't even know if I'm talking to anybody like that. But if I am, I know full well that you have more potential than just that. So please, bring it out. So, for all this, I believe that this... I, I have addressed these arguments, and hopefully I have been able to change the few a uh, couple of minds today. And, you know, if you still disagree with me, that's by all means fine. And you can leave down in the comment section below a, an argument against my, my argument, so I can then pro hopefully be able to provide a counter-argument to it. I simply ask that you do provide a logical argument. Obviously, I, I can't stop you from just, you know, insulting me in the comments, but... I would appreciate it if you if you disagree with me that you provide some sort of ideology or logic. That way either I can be disproven or I can provide a counter-argument to your counter-argument. Well guys, that's it for this video. I know it probably looked really, really different. Thing is that I've been trying this for a year now and I've only gotten up to like 23 subscribers. So clearly something had to change. I wanted to go ahead and try this and there's probably going to be a couple other changes throughout my videos i'm essentially going to be throwing a bunch of stuff to the wall to see if i can get anything to stick just because it's pretty clear that i am not growing if at all or if i am i'm growing extremely slowly so i need to change something about that my youtube channel i don't know what yet so it's just going to be a lot of experimentation until i figure out what sticks so I do ask you guys to bear with me. If you guys have any changes that you think I should make to my channel or any other video ideas that you guys might have, please leave it in the comment section down below. I need all the help I can get, desperately. Otherwise, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button. I post every other Sunday, so I'll catch you in the next two weeks. Until then, hear nothing and listen to all. Bye, guys.